With all the Bluetooth speaker videos that I've done, so many of you guys have told me I need to get in touch with August and take a look at some of their speakers. They actually reached out to me a little while back, and they sent me not one, but two of their speakers. Here in front of me, we have the August WS150G and WS300G. Just looking at the box, there's not a huge amount of difference between them from what I can tell other than size, physical size. They're both multi-room Wi-Fi speakers. They both have Bluetooth and NFC for non-Wi-Fi devices. Three and a half millimeter jacks if you have non-Bluetooth devices at all. This one mentions having a micro SD card reader. This one mentions having a built-in USB port. But other than that, they're relatively similar in terms of design. And the boxes don't seem to say anything other than that, so let's dig into the first one, the WS150G. So in this box, user manual, three and a half millimeter and USB cables. And and of course the speaker itself. And just to make it easier, I'll pull from the guide here. You've got lights here on the top for WPS, Wi-Fi status, mode, Bluetooth status, and the NFC tag. Previous, next, play, pause, volume down and volume up buttons. Taking a look at the back, you have an on-off switch, three and a half millimeter in, micro USB for charging, and micro SD for bringing in additional music. And that's pretty much that. In the 300G box, exact same accessories, exact same user manual, much, much bigger speaker. <laughs> but it actually appears to have all the same lights here, all the same buttons. Just put them side by side again, you can kind of see the similarities here. But on the back of this one, on off switch, USB port, presumably for charging other devices or also for bringing in additional music, maybe from a flash drive, micro USB and three and a half millimeter input. And they both have these little rubber feet and actually the whole thing is rubberized on the bottom just to make it sit in place on the table or desk, whatever, pretty decently. And even the tops are very rubberized as well. So kind of a nice feel in the hand. Now, according to the quick start guide inside the manual, if you scan this little bar code, you can get the app from Google Play or the Apple Store. And like I said earlier, these are Wi-Fi speakers, so these will actually connect to your Wi-Fi network. It means you don't have to have your Bluetooth on your device all the time. But here are some specs about the two speakers if you're interested. They're both Bluetooth version 2.1 with EDR, external storage devices on both, one's micro SD, one's USB. They actually both appear to have two 2000 milliamp hour batteries, unless that's a misprint. Ah, but the smaller one has a longer working time. So as much as 22 hours if you use three and a half millimeter or Bluetooth, whereas the other one's as much as 14 hours, Still very respectable for both of them. And of course right there at the very top, 10 watt and 15 watt for the, the speaker size. So you know what, let's go ahead and get these powered on, get them paired up, get them set up over Wi-Fi and do some moving around and whatnot. We'll be right back. So let's go ahead and power this on. See there it is lighting up. It says 20 seconds later it should be in Wi-Fi mode. And I've gone ahead and installed the app here. It is now searching for an August wireless system. While we're at it, let's go ahead and just do both of them at the same time if we can. All right, it asked me to select my Wi-Fi credential information and put in the password, and now it says press the WPS button to configure. So I'll press that. Searching for Wi-Fi connection. I will say I'm not a big fan of WPS. There's been some security issues with it in the past, but I'm not really in an area where it's been an issue, so. Waiting for Wi-Fi connection. Incorrect password. Interesting. It's the right password. Incorrect password. It, it's not, though. Incorrect password. They're both doing that. So relatively minor, interesting update here. I haven't been able to actually get these devices to connect to my Wi-Fi network. It keeps saying incorrect password, but I've been able to connect to them over Bluetooth and directly over Wi-Fi. So at this point, I'm connected to Bluetooth on the smaller one and Wi-Fi on the bigger one. And the fun thing about that is you can actually play music to both of them at the same time. This is what the app looks like. So if I swipe over here, you can see search, favorites, my music, and then services that I've got enabled. If I go to settings, I can turn on and turn off other services. I can change the audio quality to be super high quality or as far down as low quality. And that's primarily just for the streaming services you've got enabled there. Over here, you can have multiple devices added. So technically I could add another one of these, but given that I am connected directly to it over Wi-Fi, I don't think that's possible. Anyway, messed around with that for a little bit, trying to get them to actually talk to each other. I'll figure it out later. But the cool thing is I can now hit the play button here inside of the app. Boy, that's loud. But that was the big speaker, that's the WS300. And then if I switch back over to my Google Play library, I've got the same music here. It's a little bit quieter. It's a much smaller speaker. And that's as loud as it goes. Now turn this up, it's still, it's a pretty loud speaker. We can switch back over to the August app. It's still very loud. Let's try some other music and see what it sounds like. bad at all. It doesn't hit super hard. That's interesting. Maybe it's just the form factor or something. 
but the bass definitely hits a lot harder on this little one. It's not like it's like blowing me out of the water, but the bigger one seems to have a more large room filling sound, if that makes any sense. The little one, of course, because it's much, much smaller, it's not gonna fill up the room with sound, but it's still quite loud. And it's got a lot to it. 10 watts in this small of a form factor. That's, that's pretty decent. They're both very good sounding speakers though. Try some classical though. Okay. Gets a little tinny, a little buzzy there at the high level. Back off a little bit though. It's not bad. I'm just going back and forth. You can probably tell the difference between them. That is really nice. That's, I love that this, this song. But when you put it on a good speaker, it's so nice. And again, feels smaller, feels tighter, feels like a much smaller speaker, because it is. But it still sounds really good. And I was kind of curious, I was kind of wondering if there was going to be a big difference between the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, but the audio quality sounds very, very similar. And the audio files are identical. It's using the same ones, it's just a different app, different way of connecting. It's got good sound. It's not super bass heavy though. Switch over. And you know, I do have to see. I have to try it out. I have to do Bluetooth on the other one and see how it works. I'm trying to tell if there's a difference. That's interesting. There may actually be a little bit of a difference between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi side of things, just using the app, maybe it doesn't have equalization built into it, maybe it just flattens everything out, but it seems to have a little bit more kick to it when it's over Bluetooth. Anyway, I don't really want to go on about this for entirely too long or anything. Let me just suffice to say, I am very impressed with these devices. I've used some Wi-Fi speakers in the past where you're able to connect them through your router and control them through your phone, multi-speaker, multi-room. That's the way these are intended to be used. I just haven't been able to get it working quite yet. I'll keep working at it. Bit of a minor update from later. After trying it time and time and time again using my Android phone, I finally tried it on the iPhone. And again, after trying it time and time and time again, I did manage to get it to connect to Wi-Fi. So going back over to the app, you can now see these both devices, the 150 and the 300 connected to the app. And if I go over to my music, I'm completely connected over wireless. There's nothing connected over Bluetooth. As you can see here, everything that I've got here is last paired a while back. So now if I come back in here to my, my albums, I should be able to play some music on both the devices. And they're playing completely over Wi-Fi. Both of them are playing. Now the cool thing about this though, and hopefully you can see that, there's a little button here that says LR. And if I tap on that button, left channel. You heard it just said left channel. Right channel. And then I can do this. Left channel. So now each of these speakers is acting as an independent stereo channel. So technically you could do two speakers that are absolutely identical and have one left and one right. Put them on your bookshelves, put them on your desk, whatever you want. But this is definitely a good option. It's just a pity that I had such a hard time getting them to connect. Now back to the rest of the video. But just initial impressions, connecting to them over Wi-Fi and over Bluetooth. Excellent sound quality. Slightly better quality in my opinion over Bluetooth. But that's probably in large part due to their app. Maybe there's some changes I need to make to the app to make it better. Some optimization and things I can do, but excellent sound quality. These devices can be found over on Amazon. The small one is about a hundred bucks. The bigger one is 120. And like I said, they're using the app. It works with AirPlay. It works with Spotify, Tidal, TuneIn, iHeartRadio. And so these are two sort of vastly different things, but they're both excellent speakers. I'm highly impressed. So let me know which one of these you would pick up if you were picking one up down in the comment section. Let me know what you think of them down below as well. I've heard so many good things about August speakers and so far just initial impressions, highly impressed. And I've got a lot more stuff to test but no time today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, links down below. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to receive more, and I will see you again next time.